there is a form of healthcare called personalized healthcare (PHC). Uh, it is a system of healthcare whereby your doctor can actually forecast and see some diseases that you are likely going to develop later in life, even if you don't have them now. Uh, it's based on certain tests and uh, family history, and diabetes malady is one of them. have a diabetes mellitus now but a doctor can conduct certain tests and evaluate family history um, to determine the risks. So if you have high risk of developing diabetes there are protocols to be followed in order to either delay it or prevent it completely into our towards life. Uh, also there are some genetic testing right, uh, and, or, and the rest. For like, for example, the determination of the uh, histocompatibility and the HLA-DR4 and HLA-DR3 will actually assess your risk of developing diabetes. So if you know you are at risk based on family history, your father had it, some of your brothers have it, you could go and consult your doctor who will set certain protocols for you to follow so that you can really avoid the disease completely or delay it, especially seeing a health and wellness expert or a doctor. Uh, the, the first sentiment is more of proactive than reactive. You don't want to have the problem and they see a doctor. You could really go to uh, other doctors that are in the health and fitness uh, industry who could really be of some help and then put you on this care that will prevent you from developing the disease. That is it. We know type 2 diabetes, diabetes mellitus, uh, it happens more in people that are obese and that are getting older. So you can prevent uh, getting older, but you could control your weight so as not to be uh, classified as obese person. Um, uh, reduction of uh, fat in the body can really improve the insulin sensitivity so that your body will not be pouring out a lot of insulin just to handle small sugar. In which case, the insulin uh, mechanism will be overwhelmed. Once start developing what we call insulin resistance, and they eventually develop a pre-diabetic condition and then full diabetes mellitus status. So, uh, reduction of weight, which will involve reduction of the fat body fat level, is a cardinal among them. And how do you do that? Also, is by moderating what you eat. Portion control is important. You don't get a big plate of or a bowl of rice or bread or other high glycemic index food, meaning food that give a lot of glucose after digestion in the intestine. You don't eat this thing to your wish, to your satisfaction. That is something we call moderation. So it's portion control and there are a lot of uh, experts that can help you. If you eat slowly, you eat less. Okay. Mm. If you use a smaller plate, your, your mind is tricked to assume that you have taken a lot. So all these protocols are there, you portion control the quantity of food. Once one is able to take care of their weight and become disciplined about their diet and they have portion control, you see them reducing their weight and they are reducing the risk of diabetes mellitus. that is fearful of developing diabetes because of family history or anybody who already has the diabetes. Yes, there are food that are good. They are rich in fiber. Fiber reduces how fast glucose is released after digestion or how fast glucose is absorbed into the bloodstream. So like a whole wheat is very good. Um, swallow. We like swallow in Africa or in Nigeria in particular. So swallow made up of um, uh, whole wheat. Swallow made up of uh, shogum as guinea corn. Those high fiber diets, like whole 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 grains, some of the good cereals, uh, shogun, millet that are made into swallow are very good and suitable for people uh, that are fearful of being obese and developing diabetes because of family history and those who already have diabetes and they are fearful of complications. Unfortunately, there is nothing a parent can do. 
your diabetes mellitus is not infectious, so a, a, a parent cannot infect their children. But children will naturally inherit genetic tendency through the process of procreation, through the process of reproduction. Uh, you, no, nobody has a hand to edit what kind of child they will have. You can't decide what gene, what genetic deficiency you can push over to a child during reproduction. So that is nature, nature controls that. Yes, once one develops diabetes, excessive intake of water, especially fast, they are always fasty, they are more dry, they feel bitter just in the mouth. Um, they are always drinking water, they are always passing urine, and uh, paresthesia, numbness. People feel as if their feet is no longer their own feet. In fact, they may drop their slippers on the road without knowing that they lost it because they are not feeling the sole of their feet properly. It's called paresthesia or numbness. Uh, it could happen in the hands and the feet. And erectile dysfunction, common. Uh, men with diabetes for a long time start using their virility as men. They can't really have appropriate erection that will uh, allow for coital. Coitus. Uh, another thing is that for female, a lot of sugar in urine may give them pruritus valve, or what you may call candida infection or yeast infection. Uh, all this itching and discharge that could be very troublesome and difficult to treat because the sugar is a cultural medium for those fungus coming in the vulva of the female, the genitals of the female. It's not infectious, okay. so it cannot be transmitted sexually. Uh, to getting transfusion from someone that is diabetic will not get the person to be diabetic. These are not the case. No, it has never happened. That was Dr. Ahmed Mohamed Sabo for those practical and life-saving tips. Remember, diabetes may run in your family, but with the right lifestyle choices, you can significantly reduce your risk.